Welcome sixth graders to another social studies lesson. As we continue learning about conserving our resources, our topic today is caring for our architectural heritage. Throughout the lesson today, you will be able to identify historical buildings in the Bahamas, assess why each historical building is considered vital, and finally, evaluate the importance of preserving our heritage for a healthy tourism industry. We will begin the lesson with vocabulary words. Read each word along with me and its definition. Heritage. Heritage is property that descends to an heir or something transmitted by or acquired from a predecessor. Architecture. Architecture is the art or practice of designing and building structures, a method or style of building. Restoration. Restoration is an act of restoring or the condition of being restored, such as bringing back to a former position or condition. Battery. Battery in this lesson refers to a grouping of artillery pieces for tactical purposes. A battery of cannon from the Revolutionary War or the guns of a warship. Fortification. Fortification is something that fortifies, defends, or strengthens. Perservation. Perservation is the act, process, or result of preserving something such as the activity or process of keeping something valued alive intact or free from being damaged or decay. Cities, towns, and villages are also a part of the environment. In the Bahamas, we have many old buildings that are an important part of our history. Bahamians and visitors alike learn more of our history by visiting these buildings. Can you imagine our islands being under attack or invaded? Well, centuries ago, we were once attacked by the Spaniards, the French, the English, and the Americans. As a result, the Bahamian citizens needed protection. And so several military forts were built on New Providence in the 17th and 18th centuries. At various times, parts of these forts have been destroyed and rebuilt. So what we see today is a jigsaw of pieces of different times. The first fort to be built was Fort Nassau. It was built in 1697 and lasted for nearly 200 years. It was demolished in 1897 and was located on the northern side of Marlborough Street on the site of the current British Colonial Hilton Hotel. Did you know that Fort Charlotte is the largest fort on the island of New Providence? Yes, it is. It was built way back in 1788 by Lord Dunmore and named after the wife of King George III. This fort also consists of two other forts, Fort Stanley in the middle and Fort Darcy in the western section. Here is the oldest and the smallest fort on New Providence, Fort Monocue. It was built back in 1741 by Peter Henry Bruce. This fort was built to protect the British from the Spaniards' invasion, yet they were attacked by the Americans. Our final fort is Fort Fincastle, 
Like all of the other forts, they're all constructed from limestone, built in 1793 by John Murray. This fort was built to protect Nassau Harbor in the shape of a paddle wheel steamer. Many of the older buildings in the Bahamas are private homes. Some are churches and other places of worship. These were built during the era of the Loyalists. They are now viewed as historical buildings. The early settlers came to these islands because they wanted freedom to worship in their own way. In 1670, settlers built a church on New Providence and called it Christ Church. The first building was destroyed by the Spaniards in 1684. The second building was rebuilt in 1695, only to be destroyed again in 1703 by the French and the Spaniards. Therefore, a third church made of wood began in 1721 under the direction of Governor Woods Rogers. A fourth church of stone was completed between 1753 and 1754. During the year of 1774, a steeple was added. The church we know today as Christ Church Cathedral was later enlarged and beautiful stained glass windows were added. When the church was renamed the Cathedral Church of the Bahamas in 1861, Nassau became a city. Here is a photo of St. Matthew's Church, also on the island of New Providence. It is the third oldest place of worship on the island. Its first service was held in 1802. A steeple was added to the church in 1816. For a long time, the clock in the steeple of St. Matthew's Church and another in Christ Church Cathedral were the only reliable timepieces on the island of New Providence. There are a number of historic buildings that need special care. Several in Nassau are more than 200 years old. For example, the Deanery on Cumberland Street. A few of the houses built by the Loyalists can still be seen in the Bahamas. These houses were similar in style to those built in New England and the Carolinas. Balcony House on Market Street in Nassau is a good example of a Loyalist house. Many of these historic buildings have been restored. Restoration is carried out by the owner. Private and public institutions also help. The Bahamas National Trust and other conservation associations make the public aware of the importance of preserving our historic buildings. They encourage the owners of these buildings to preserve them for future generations. Yes, you can also help. You can help by never making marks on walls or damaged buildings, old ones or new ones. You can further help by finding out as much as you can in your spare time about historic buildings on your island so that you can tell visitors, family, and friends about them. It's better in the Bahamas. This is our Ministry of Tourism slogan, created to encourage visitors to share our beautiful islands. But are we doing our best to keep our islands clean, to make them as lovely and peaceful as can be? Our beautiful island should always be clean, green, and pristine. In spite of many cleanup campaigns and please not to drop litter, people still drop litter everywhere. Our beaches are spread with cans, bottles, plastics, and papers. 
New laws have been passed to stop the dumping of litter and garbage. Offenders can be taken to court for not keeping their premises clean. The best way to keep our islands clean is for us all to do our part. Let's recap, sixth graders. Remember, our islands were once invaded or under attack by the Spaniards, the French, the English, and the Americans. Fort Nassau was the very first fort built on New Providence. Its structure no longer exists. The oldest yet the smallest of all three remaining forts is Fort Montague. Fort Charlotte is the largest of them all and comprises of two other forts, Fort Darcy and Fort Stanley. Remember, Fort Fin Castle has a very unique shape the shape of a paddle wheel steamer. Please remember the importance of these two historic churches. For a very long time, the clock in the steeples of St. Matthew's and Christ Church Cathedral were the only reliable timepieces on New Providence. Nassau became a city when Christ Church was renamed the Cathedral Church of the Bahamas. St. Matthew's Church is the third oldest place of worship on the island. We conclude today's lesson with the Ministry of Tourism slogan, It's better in the Bahamas. Therefore, let's all do our part to conserve resources to be enjoyed by ourselves, our visitors, and future generations.